All right, so I'm uh, making a video of how to install CoComposer on Linux in this case, Ubuntu 22.04. So we'll see if there's any issues. I've got some install instructions for 20.04. So let's see how this goes. Now, I went and did the install and found that there's some dependencies on CoComposer. So I had to run these commands. So right here, sudo apt update and then sudo apt install all these. So make sure you do that before you run the installation. And then what I did here is I downloaded, let's just go back one. Uh, I went and you'll see here, I went to uh, just searched for install CoComposer Studio and then went to CoComposer Studio downloads and then version 11 downloads. And finally I clicked on all platforms. Then I went down here, we're gonna try this installer that gets most of the files off the web where it, if it needs those files. And so here we go, CoComposer Studio IDE. I've already done that, I downloaded it here. Uh, show in folder. And let's see, get to the folder. And then just extract, right? Extract here. And then we go into the installation directory. All right, finally, we just run, let's see, I think I stopped it. Oh, I've ever, I'm gonna stop this one. Let's start over. Yes, I want to import that installation. So I just double click on the run. It's going to pull up CoComposer here. Good. At least the installation of it. Let's see how this goes. And yeah, this is what we want to install for it. I accept the agreement. Click there, forward. All right, all the dependencies checked this time. So the last time I got some errors here saying that it didn't have all the dependencies. So you'll want to watch for that. And that was at the beginning of the video forward. And yeah, I recommend that my, I put my home directory as Dan, highly recommend you just leave the TI directory and use that for all your installations forward. Let's see what this does here. Okay. Custom installation recommended. Yeah, you could do the full, I guess, but um, let's see, can I get more range? I, I would recommend the custom because you're not going to need for most of the, we're just going to need the C2000 processors. So let's see here, forward. What do we got here? Select components. All right, so this is not the greatest. Can I make this bigger? I cannot, huh? All right, fine. Well, what are we going to need? Um, these are the main processor we're going to need is the C2000 real time MCUs. Now, of course, if you think you're going to do other projects and you have plenty of space, you could just select all of these. But these are the processors we're going to be using. Uh, I love the OMAP DSPs, but anyway, we won't install it today. I'm looking for other things. Yeah, all sorts of good stuff that TI uh, sells. Uh, but I'm, for this one, I'm just going to run and just install C2000. Okay. And go forward. Make the installation a little bit quicker, too. Uh, I would go ahead. I do own some Blackhawk debugs, but um, it doesn't really hurt. You can you go ahead and do all these just in case you're, uh, you buy one of those in the future. That's how you program the, the debugger is how you program the core of the process unsupported boards okay so these are all the boards that are unsupported in linux that's okay the main one we're going to be using is called the xds 100 v2 and so that's a ti board and supported or ti form factor or whatever you want to call it forward ready to install okay great let's see how this goes forward uh install these download components yes go ahead Oh, wait, if your company has a firewall, yeah, we don't have, okay, I don't have that here. Forward, here we go. All right, downloading component, three of 28. Yeah, it'll just do its thing. I'll go ahead and pause for now. Yeah, so it's it did the downloads and now it's doing the installing and it went really quick at first, but then 
Uh, towards the end here, 97, 98 percent, it kind of slows down, doing a lot of things in the background. So again, I'll pause, but I thought I'd insert that right there just to, you know, be patient. In other words, it's going to it's going to install. OK, got to 100 percent. A couple pop ups happened. Yeah, it says 100 percent for a while, but still going. Creating uninstaller here. So, you know, some in other words, I haven't hit any buttons. Just let it ride. Let it do its thing. OK, and yeah, we'll go ahead and create a shortcut. Let's see how that looks in Linux. And we let's see the drivers. Please unplug USB. Keep it. Yep. And. Oh, I see. Yeah, and this is part of the instructions here. So we have to as administrator, we have to run this uh, install drivers sh. OK. Debug probes. Yeah, unplug them all. OK, so we'll remember that install drivers sh finish. All right. Good. So let's go and run that now. Uh, did it show that instruction? I think I saw that somewhere. Where did I see that documentation? Well, anyway, we've got to install, run that installer. So we can go to our terminal, right? And CD back to home. And then see there's the TI directory. And then there's the, yeah, CCS, lowercase. Uh, uh, ch -ch -ch. Uninstall, install scripts. Let's see here. Was that why I should have maybe better, better, better job of a. Uh... Here we go. Install drivers, right, was the thing we needed to do. So we can do sudo dot slash install drivers. Do you have permissions file complete success with some distros that may require a boot reboot in order for the driver function properly for restarting UDEV is sufficient restarting UDEV now. Some versions of Linux require a reboot. Restarting UDEV now. Well, all right. So it may be working or anything. So that's the steps you need to take. And then you have CoComposer installed on your laptop or on your Linux machine. I'm going to stop that for now.